In 2020, I was 20 years old <laughs> and I wrote a letter to myself to read when I was 25. And my birthday's in a week, but I wanted this to come out on my birthday, so I wanted to film it beforehand. So I'm technically not 25 yet, but I feel like it's okay. To give you some context about the last five years of my life, in 2020, I was in London recording an EP that never came out. <laughs> my live EP that came out in 2021 was originally going to be a whole produced out EP. It was gonna be like my pop EP. It just like ended up not sounding like what I wanted it to sound like, so I just decided to release them acoustically. However, I did work on them. I was uh, wearing the most insane outfits I've ever seen in my life. Can't believe that no one told me that I looked insane. I had the worst haircut I think I've ever had. This is a picture of me on my actual birthday in 2020. I made my old manager take me to Harry Potter World in London as my birthday present. And he took this picture to send to my mom. <laughs> grown out side bangs, Jesus Christ. And the vest, like what was I doing? The high-waisted pants and the belt, sure. In September of 2021, I was living in New York. I was only there for a month, but I was there for my birthday and yeah, I was alone. It wasn't great, it wasn't great. And then I went to LA and we were recording Five Seconds Flat around that time after my birthday. But this is a picture of me on my actual birthday in 2021. Don't really know what the hair is doing. I had dyed it like, I, had, I guess I'd tried to go lighter, but oof, it's, it's not looking great. And this pose, <laughs> it looks so weird. Um, in 2022, September time, I was on tour and I was in Boston on my birthday. We played in Boston on my birthday. I was so sad. I think it was because Boston holds a lot of memories for me. Yeah, this was the first time I was playing in Boston after having left school. The last gig that I played in Boston right before COVID happened and my dad passed was across the street from this venue that we were playing and my dad had come to that show. That was the last show he, he ever saw me play. So it was an emotional day for me, definitely. This is a picture of me the day before my birthday. I don't have any pictures of me on my actual birthday because I was playing a show and I just wasn't taking pictures of myself. The hair is at least better, but I was pretty sad. In 2023, I was also playing shows. We were just about to start recording older. Crazy, that was a year ago. This is a photo from, of me on my birthday last year. I was with my ex. We went to like a hotel in Malibu. It was like a s little staycation. It was fun. And I was growing out my bangs again. And now we're in 2024 and I'm turning 25 in a week. This is the journal that I wrote the letter in. I bought it at the Berkeley bookstore. Um, I used it as my songwriting journal. And then when COVID happened and everything hit the fan, I uh, started using it as a personal journal. I started this journal on January 22nd, 2020. Okay, let's just go straight to the letter. Okay, for, oh, sure. For context, while I'm editing this, I did not write the Dear 25 Year Old Me letter on my birthday in 2020. I don't know why, I just like one random day, I was like, okay, it's time to write this. I wrote it in April of 2020. So I had not even put out my first album yet. I was like fully a little tiny baby. I feel like that context is important. Back to the video. So, oh my god. Dear 25 year old Lizzie, in a week. Hey. Hey. You just watched Dodie's Dear 25 year old me video and now wanted to make your own. Look at me, that's what I'm doing. But you are not a YouTuber, lol. So you are writing it down. So, hey. Again, hey. From your 20 year old self. Oh god. Right now, as a 20 year old, you are in New Hampshire staying with your aunt and uncle while the global pandemic of COVID-19 is happening. Is that still a thing? Yes. <laughs> Hope they made a vaccine for that. They did. 
and they're still making more. So it keeps mutating. <laughs> and I hope no one gets it in your family. Well, we all got it, but we're all okay. We're very lucky. A month ago tomorrow, your dad died. Oof, boy. It hurts right now and probably will for a long time, so I'm sure it still hurts at 25. Yeah, it does. Wish he could see how you turn out, smiley face. He would be so proud of you no matter where you end up. He always was. Don't forget about that. I won't. Speaking of family, how is Emma? Emma goes by Emery now, and they're great. Is she still dating <laughs> They're not dating anymore, thank God. <laughs> That's so funny. Is she dot 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 married? <laughs> I feel like she'll get married before me. No, they're not married. I. <laughs> That's insane. Why would I think that they would be married by now? It's only five years. How is mom and Andrew and the cats? Is Meatball still kicking it? They're all great. Meatball is in fact still kicking it. And he's so cute, getting a little chubby, but that's okay. Are they still living in the, I'm not gonna say this name of my street, in that house or have they moved again? No, they're still there. They talked about moving, but they're still there, thank God. Okay, now friends. Is Mackenzie still your best friend? Yes. Oh, that's so great. Yes, she is. And she lives in LA now, so we can hang out all the time. Um, that's adorable. Where are you living? Still in Boston or LA or London? I'm in LA. Why would I still be in Boston? <laughs> are you signed, like, to a label? Wow, dot, 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 dot. I am signed to a label. I am. Oh my God. I'm signed to RCA. They're so great and they let you do whatever you want. And that's so nice. Isn't that fun? So fun. Who is your manager and your team? My manager is Molly. And she literally is the best to ever do it. And I love her so much. I'm so glad that I found her. Do you have a band? <laughs> I do have a band. I do. The next question is, have you toured yet? Yes, I have. That's crazy. In 2020, I had never toured before in my life. This is so wild. Yes, I have a band. And yes, we just were touring and are continuing to tour. We're going to Europe in October. I've toured a couple times. And it, you know, it's hard at first for you. Eventually you find the people that you're meant to find and then it becomes fun and you just make music that feels authentic to you and it's so special. Today, as of this moment, I have 31.2 thousand Instagram followers. How many do you have now? Let's check. Now I have 825 thousand. That's pretty crazy. Love that for us. Have you met John Mayer yet? No comment. Have you written a song with Sarah Bareilles yet? No, not yet, but we've met and she's so sweet. Right now, I think I'm on the edge of something really great in my career. You are! You are! Oh my god! You are! You're about to put out your first album and it's gonna do great. Name of my ex. Are you still in each other's lives? Please say yes. Actually, yes. We're friends. That's so sweet. If he's not in the picture, who is? Are you dating someone? Are you married? God, I hope not. <laughs> I'm not married. Thank God. And I hope you don't have kids either. I don't. Not until at least 27? Girl. I'm not married. I just was in a relationship for a year and a half, but that's no longer. Are you like actually a musician? Like professionally? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you could say that. Please tell me yes, you did it, please. That's all I've ever wanted. Oh my God. I don't know why that's making me emotional. I feel like I've kind of whew, lost sight of that a little bit. Making the albums that I've made and putting them out and being in the world, in the industry, in the way that I have been in the past five years, I guess, you just get caught up in everything. And recently, especially, I've been feeling so burnt out after making this album and it took so long to make and I knew that it was exactly what I needed to be making but it just took so long to find the right people and 
to get the right pieces to fit in the right places that it really like I, I'm I was just burnt out afterwards and I was like needing so hard to pivot and do something else so that I could remember why I wanted to do this in the first place but to hear that 20 year old me is all she wanted was to be a professional musician in her words is crazy that's all I've ever wanted that's what I wrote well we did it I know five years is simultaneously far away and so close but I wonder how much has changed a lot are you happy because right now you aren't so much there are moments but it's hard right now you're stuck in quarantine without any of your friends it sucks Online school is awful, god awful. I think I am happy. I remember being here so vividly and really like, it was tough. And I feel like a different person. I mean, I still have her inside of me, but I, I am happy, yeah. I mean, there are obviously moments where I'm not happy. In general, like, I, I really feel good. Uh, anyway, hope you're okay. Hope everyone you love is okay too. They are. Hope your career is going strong and you get to tour with incredible musicians. I do get to tour with incredible musicians. It's so fun. P.S. Did you get to tour with Dodie? I did! Uh, that was your first tour. You opened for her. Love you lots. Happy birthday. Love 20 year old you. Oh, I have a P.S. P three extra questions. P.S. Have you been on Broadway yet? <laughs> no, but I'm working on it. Have you met Rhett and Link yet? I have. <laughs> and they're so sweet. And I was on Good Mythical Morning and it was a dream come true. And they came to my show at the Greek and we're friends. And that's so great. And so yes, I, I have met them. And have you been in a movie slash TV show? No. But I did write my own short film. And it's good enough for me. <laughs> that was insane. This was really special. I'm really glad that I did this. Like, shout out to 20 year old me for writing this. <laughs> Let's see, I wrote this in April of 2020. I'm gonna find a picture from April of 2020. This is what I looked like when I wrote that letter. And this is what I look like now. Yeah, so if you're watching this, today's my birthday. Happy birthday to me, 25 years old. Thanks for watching. Well, maybe I'll write one this year for my 30 year old self. Ooh, I'm gonna do that, that's a good idea. Okay, bye.